All right, students, this is going to be one of the first videos that you have in this class in which I'm going to work with you to fill in one of the first gaps here in your lecture workbook. So if you look here on page seven, you will see that we have this gap left and it says diagram of the classification of matter as we have described it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'd like to, to turn back a couple of pages. Here is page five. And at the bottom of page five, you see that we have started with saying two key classifications of matter are pure substances and mixtures. So matter is going to be the overall category into which all of these substances fall into. And then we're going to divide that category into two more pure substances and mixtures. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got matter up here at the top. That's the overriding category. Then we're going to break that up into two subcategories. And they were, what were they? They were pure substances and mixtures. I'm gonna put mixtures over here on the left. And then pure substances on the right. Okay, we're going to further subdivide these categories, mixtures, if we turn to page six, we see that mixtures are made up of two types of mixtures. There's homogeneous and heterogeneous. So homogeneous and heterogeneous are the two mixture types. So we'll divide that two more times, homogeneous, and heterogeneous. And just to recall, homogeneous mixture, that means that the mixture has a uniform composition throughout. And heterogeneous mixtures have different compositions throughout. So for example, a homogeneous mixture would be a glass of salt water, where you can't see any salt floating around it, all the salt's been dissolved. So all the salt is a fairly uniform consistency throughout the mixture. A heterogeneous mixture might be something like a salad that you would have for lunch. So you can definitely see that there, by looking at it, that there are different parts in there. There's some tomatoes, some lettuce. It has a different composition depending on where you look in that mixture. All right, so then we have pure substances. And how are we going to, to subdivide pure substances? Well, pure substances, two types of pure substances, this is on page six, elements and compounds. So elements and then the other subdivision is compounds. And there you go. That's the way that we would generally classify or diagram the classification of matter as we are going to describe it. It's going to be very important for you to understand the difference between a compound and a molecule. And so I'm going to let you uh, study on that later. I'm not going to cover that in this video. But a compound and the word molecule, they do not mean the same thing. Okay? A compound can be a molecule, but it may not be a molecule. So you'll, you'll need to be aware of that. We'll talk about that later. All right, that's all for now.